Hello and welcome to the Voices of the Vic podcast. I'm Ben Ayton and this is the Match Day Vlog. This evening I'm off to the Lamex Stadium to watch Watford away at Stevenage Borough in the first round of the Cowbell Cup. Uh, really looking forward to this game. I couldn't make the QPR 4 0 victory at weekend. Yes, I am absolutely gutted I missed it 4 0. Um, but it is what it is. Luckily, I'm managed to managing to go tonight to watch Watford looking forward to seeing what they do under the Valerie Ishmael um, but we're up against Stevenage um, we've only played Stevenage once before in a competitive game and that was back in 2014 when Watford won 1-0 uh, with a Lloyd Dyer goal um, obviously playing Stevenage now a newly promoted team to League One they came second in League Two last year Steve Evans has been at the helm for a couple of seasons now. He took over and helped him survive relegation down to the conference. Um, I think they stayed up in the last game of the season. So, yeah, kept him up. And the following season, came second in League Two. So, what a turnaround for Steve Evans and Steve Nugent. And now they're playing a trade in League One. At the weekend, they've just beaten a fellow promotion um, side Northampton Town away from home they won 1-0 um, so obviously they're full of confidence at the moment they'll be looking forward to Watford coming to the Lamex Stadium tonight and look they've beaten big sides before last season they've knocked out Aston Villa in the FA Cup at Villa Park and came from behind to win that as well so they've got a few scalps to their names in the history before I think possibly they've, they've got good results against Newcastle in the FA Cup before as well so they'll be up for this tonight a localish derby against Watford um, so yeah looking forward to it I'm expecting a few changes from Valerie Ishmael um, I, I, I'm hoping that Ryan Andrews gets a start on the right hand side I'm hoping the Georgian guy gets a go as well. I know I've been avoiding to say his name on the podcast, um, but I'll, I'll attempt to give it a go now. Uh, Georgie Chapazeski, go with that. Um, I'm, I'm hoping he starts because I heard lots of positive stuff about him at the weekend, so excited to see him play. Uh, and obviously I want Reese Healy starting tonight as well. He, he was on the bench and didn't feature. So yeah, I'm hoping for a, um, a positive strong lineup for Watford tonight and I'd love a cup run. Um, I don't think it will hinder us in the season if we have a cup run. Look at Sheffield United last year, they got to the semi-finals of the FA Cup, really good cup run, they, they knocked out big sides as well and they still got promoted to the Premier League so I'm all for cup runs and it's, it's always a good excuse to tick off other grounds that maybe people haven't done before by these lower league um, sides. So, I've been to Stevenish before, it's a nice little ground, it's not too far, parking's right next to the ground as well, so yeah, really looking forward to it, so yeah, I'll see you at Stevenish.
Just got back from Stevenage, so it finished Stevenage Borough 1, Watford 1, um, and Watford have crashed out on a Carabao Cup after losing 4-3 on penalties. Uh, Ryan Porteous and Reese Healy both missed their spot, spot kits as Watford crash out in the first round. Um, thoughts on the first, well, for, thoughts on the 90 minutes. I thought Watford, they got the early goal, which was great from Vacuum Bio at the far post. Great po poachers goal. Uh, so that's two and two for Vacuum Bio. After that, if I'm honest, I felt Watford took their foot off the gas. I think they underestimated Stevenage. I don't think we respected them enough. Um, Stevenage rolled up their sleeves. They were very physical. They were very uh, fast in their play. And I, I don't, they was first every second ball. And I just felt like there was too much for Watford. And it's a, it's a massive crash down for Watford in terms of a fantastic result of the weekend against QPR with 4 0 defeat, uh, uh, victory. And then to come to Stevenage Tuesday night, um, obviously Valerie Ishmael only made one change to the team. That was Daniel Batman came out and Ben Hamer came in. So it's a strong lineup, and the players didn't really deliver tonight. Uh, this is my first game of watching Watford this season, and from one is I'm not very impressed. Um, so it, it's gonna obviously something needs to happen um, in the next couple of days for the home game against Plymouth Argyle. I imagine Watford will turn up and they'll probably be ready for that. Um, they might fancy the Championship League game over a Carabao Cup game. Um, but if I'm honest, there was lots of talk about mentality change. And I, I can see what Valerie Ishmael was trying to do tonight by keeping that the same players, trying to get them, um, give them a bit of consistency, get them used to the style and to get their mentality right and maybe like put some back-to-back -to -back games together. But if I'm honest, I don't think the mentality was maybe there tonight because, I, like I say, I, I do think they underestimated Stevenage a little bit. Um, but, yeah, Saturday's a different game against Plymouth Argyle. I'm expecting a tough test. Um, but, yeah, let's let's see what what the turn up on this one. And just before I end this as well, there's lots of talk about Daniel Batman. You know what, I think I'd prefer him over Ben Hamer with his kicking. Um, Hamer wasn't brilliant tonight. Um, yeah, Daniel Batman makes me feel a bit more comfortable. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you've liked the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, get in the comments, let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, fortunately, it's, it's a defeat, it's ended in. Um, but yeah, me and Mike and Joe will be back with a podcast Wednesday night for a Plymouth Our Goal. Um, preview um, so go give that a watch as well and yeah bring on Plymouth Argyle on Saturday come on you wards